Hollywood actors have decided to walk off the set and right onto the picket line. Members of SAG-AFTRA voted to strike yesterday, saying they'll join screenwriters who have been picketing for over two months now. The union had been in talks for weeks with major studios and companies like Netflix, Amazon, and Disney. In the end, they couldn't reach an agreement. The eyes of the world, and particularly the eyes of labor, are upon us. What happens here is important because what's happening to us is happening across all fields of labor. It's the first actor strike against television shows and movie productions since 1980. It will bring most remaining productions to a standstill. Joining us this morning, Simon Pullman, an attorney who is partner and co-chair of the entertainment group at Pryor Cashman. Nice to have you here, Simon. Thank you for having me. So what does your company do exactly, just so I know? <laughs> sure. So I'm an entertainment attorney and I'm largely company side. So I'm the person responsible um, on, for making offers to actors and to writers on behalf of companies. Okay, so what's the problem with what the actors and actresses want right now? Sure. So, without getting too much into the weeds, there are two major issues here. The first is the pretty seismic impact of streaming platforms like Apple, Amazon, and Netflix on how the entertainment business operates and how the e economics flow. And then the second um, uh, issue is the specter of artificial intelligence, mm. AI, and what the possible implications could be both for writers and for actors. And, and with, with the actors and actresses, I mean, the problem with streaming is not all streaming um, platforms are making money. Is that it? Uh, I think the issue is that streaming in general um, is about share price, right? And the way that the entertainment business has traditionally made money is by selling th things through multiple windows. A movie comes out in theaters, then on VHS or DVD, and finally, you know, to television. Um, or a TV show airs on NBC, and then like a Seinfeld or a Friends, it's syndicated and sold all over the world. But mm -hmm. on a streaming platform, it generally just stays there. And so you can't key a residual payment to an exhibition. And so a lot of what they're arguing about is the formula that the streamers use to calculate what, what to pay actors and writers in, in connection with these shows. And the way the formula generally works uh, for both parties is whether a show is a massive, massive hit on a Netflix, for example, or whether nobody watches it, the streaming formula is the, is the same. And it's very, very complicated. So to your average viewer that's watching this, they say these actors are on strike, the writers are on strike. What, what does that mean for me? Sure. So what it means is that um, very little disruption to this summer's movies, right? Mm -hmm. Those have already been, been shot, except the actors can't promote them at all. We know. We had a few people canceled right, today. Right, they can't come on to the show. <laughs> um, so, so as far as, 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 as production goes, you know, we'll walk around the, the city and we see all of these shoots, law and order and things like that. Mm -hmm. That's completely shut, shut down. So no, no, uh, no acting services, no going in and doing motion capture for a big uh, you know, studio movie, and, and no promotion. It's a lot of things. I mean, because I was looking at the list, it's like you, you can't have a podcast, you can't do this. There's so many things you can't do. How are these actors and writers making money right now? Um, many of them won't be. Um, there are certain ex exceptions. Broadway is not going to be affected. So if your viewers have tickets for a show coming up, they needn't worry. And, and there's actually an exception for soap, soaps as well, daytime soaps, because it's under a different contract. Mm -hmm. But um, these actors effectively won't be. And that's the sacrifice that they're making because they feel like this is but such someone's a... Someone's got a break because, I mean, they got to pay rent, they got to buy groceries too, and they're going to have to cross maybe some of these picket lines and, and work. This is the, ultimately the, the issue and, and the moment that we find ourselves in. I mean, we're living through, through history. Uh, will now that the actors have joined the writers, this be the moment where the AMPTP, the studios, have to say, we're in trouble because our movies for 2025 are going to be in danger. Our, our full slate is going to be in, in, in danger. Or will it just go on long enough that effectively it, it, it's affecting the livelihoods of these striking people? And, I, and, I should and it's say, not just the striking precisely. people, Simon, right? It's like the trickle-down effect. It's craft services, it's makeup. It's, it's a it's, massive, massive yeah. impact to the, uh, to the economy in, you know, Los Angeles, of course, but also New York and right across the country. So, um, you know, yesterday Bob Iger was one of those people who spoke out. He's the head of Disney. Uh, he has a number of channels. And I was, I said, let me see how much he makes. 
So he makes like a million dollars a year, but his compensation is over 20 million. So he made like well over 20 million dollars last year. And this is what the writers are saying. They're not asking for 20 million, but they want a piece of the pie. I mean, that's been their major talking point, yeah. which is, you know, to give us everything we want would cost you this. And that's effectively what, what a, a CEO is, is making. Now, Bob Iger's not wrong insofar as from his perspective, it is more complicated than perhaps, you know, the public deem it to be. But it's certainly from the perspective of the creators, you can understand, you know, you can understand that their, their issue with that. When you look at behemoths like Ford and the car industry, when, when they were doing the exact same thing, when machines were taking over people's jobs, if you have to be forward thinking, what happens when they say, this is just the way of the future, AI is going to take over, like you have to get in line? Well, and the AI issue is, is, is a big one in this, in this strike, and it's a very, very nuanced issue because there are certain things that might not be controversial, right? Like if you helping with, with dubbing and subtitling of actors. Mm -hmm. However, what the actors are concerned about, and the writers, is that it could, it could replace them. And in fact, with, with an actor, you have a digital double, and effectively you can either materially modify a performance or create one wholesale. And this is what people talk about, bringing back James Dean, you know, having Tom Hanks act yeah. in, you know, movies well after he's retired or even, or even passed but away. Some people might want to see that. Some people might not see. Well, this is the moment we live in, right? It's 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 a this constant tension between people who are sort of traditionalists and you know yeah. who love you know the human side of, of creativity and people who are saying, well, no, look at all these amazing things that technology can can do for yeah. us. And I don't think there are any easy answers. Simon, can you predict how this is going to end? How how long do you think this is going to go for? I, I think there are two possible outcomes. Um, either the fact that the actors have joined really pushes the NPTP to the table and to make some sacrifices. But if I were a betting man, I would say we could be in through this for, for many months. And wow. because Hollywood sort of shuts down over the, Hollywood, over the holidays after Thanksgiving anyway, mm -hmm. we might be into this uh, until next year. Wow. Wow. And, you know, we were talking about the trickle-down effect. I mean, New York City, I mean, there's so many things. There's the, the craft people, you know, who supply the food. There's the truckers. There's, there's all these people mm -hmm. who rely on them. Who are, who are normal, middle-class, working-class right. cla class people. And that's sort of the, the unfortunate piece about this. And that's why I'm really hopeful that we do reach a resolution soon, because it really is affecting real people's everyday lives. Yep. Simon Pullman, attorney and partner uh, and co-chair of the entertainment group at Prior Cashman. Thank you, Simon. Appreciate Thank you, you coming me. on.